Hello everybody, it's Brandon again. So Chrome OS and Chrome OS Flex in the uh, version 103 update have a new app called um, Screencast, I believe. Yeah, and so what we're going to do in this video is check it out and see what it does. I haven't tried it yet. I mean, I've clicked on it before and I just closed it right away. Because uh, I, for some reason, wanted to uh, record it and show the world me uh, not understanding how to use it. I thought that would be interesting. So, uh, since this is our first time looking at it, let's do the quick tour. Record your screen and yourself. How fun. Get a transcript automatically. What else can we do? Draw on your screen. Look at that. Collaborate and share. Let's get started. Okay. Well, let's just go ahead and make a new screencast. Can I do that? No. Click or tap new screencast to start a new screencast. That doesn't seem to work though. Huh. Well, this might be a short lived demo. I wonder if it's because I'm on an external display. Alright, well, here's a new screencast for you. Um, it doesn't work on here. I'm going to go ahead and try it on my actual Chromebook and see if that works. Alright everyone, I got out the little uh, Lenovo Chrome, uh, I don't even remember what this thing's called, Chromebook, Chrome Tab 10e, and uh, I just updated it to the latest uh, Chrome OS. And so we're going to go ahead and see if we can get Screencastify to work on here. I'm going to just hold my phone and record it because um, I have not had really good results doing the screen recording on this little thing. So let's check it out. Okay. So I'm going to click on Screencastify. <clears throat> and my button's loading. Oh, speech files are downloading. I wonder if that's what the other one was doing. I don't know. It didn't say loading. Let's get our speech files, maybe. Oh, and here's something interesting. If you guys watched my last video where the gallery app is missing on a uh, Chrome OS Flex, well, it's not here on um, real Chrome OS either. So. At least I don't see it. G A L L. See, no gallery. Okay, so now we do have a new screencast button, and it's blue, which tells me I could click on it. So let's do that. Interesting. It just does this the thing we uh, have always had from the settings. Is that all it does? That might be a disappointment. Oh no. Is this all it is? Hello, we're doing a recording here. All right. <clears throat> Do they still go into files like normal? Alright, as near as I can tell, it just does the same thing as going here and going to screen capture. I wonder if I do a recording like this. Hello again. Hello. Oh, was that even going? Anyway. <clears throat> All right, so the difference is if you record from here, it goes into your downloads folder. If you start the recording from here, it goes into the screencast app where you get a share, a rename and a delete. Where it's uploading to, I don't know, maybe Google Photos. It's been processing for a while. The 
This doesn't really say where it goes to. Hmm, interesting. So, uh, that's a look at the Screencast app. Um, you know, I thought, uh, people would be able to see what I'm doing live somehow, but it, I didn't see any option for that. It just went straight into the regular recording interface. Maybe they're still working on this thing. Or maybe I'm just too dumb and there's, uh, stuff I didn't recognize. If you guys have used this and, um, are smarter than I am, you can let me know in the comments. Uh, as near as I can tell, it's... It's kind of just a glorified version of the uh, screen recording tools that were already here, but maybe I'm wrong. Let me know what you think, and uh, until next time, have a good day. Goodbye.